one thing that is causing so much of the suffering that's on the planet is a false premise that if you really go deep, you can see doesn't make any sense. And the false premise is the idea of, I am loved from outside of myself. When I finally get the money the right way, when I finally get the success, when I finally get the right partner, then I'm loved. And all of these premises include the idea that it's outside of you where you will finally be seen. And even when you finally get those things, even when you get the right partner and get the right career or get the right amount of money, you still will deep down know it's outside of me that's loving me. And if this falls apart, I'm still screwed. So that fear still will linger. So you can bury that lie with the right circumstance, but deep, deep, deep down, you know that if this doesn't work out, you're still gonna be left with this lie that your happiness is outside of you. And because you're not getting it, you're still really sad. I believe most depression, a lot of people have a desire to end their life all over this lie. And we've now normalized this lie in our world. We've made it a normal premise that, you know, you get seen based on social media or that we're all just this kind of one thing looking to each other to validate ourselves. And it's causing so much unbelievable suffering. There's no truth in this lie. And if you really think about it, it doesn't make any sense. You will always feel that unconscious suffering if you believe it's outside of you. And at one point, it's up to us to go inward and go, my happiness is my connection to myself. It's my connection to my heart. It's now. It's an ego that wants to fix the circumstances first over connecting to the now, connecting to your heart, connecting to here. And practicing that for a while through meditation, through letting go of all the vices, through not needing to be seen so much, you will start to connect to a heart that's right here. And you will realize there's actually in many of the circumstances, nothing wrong. But what happened was we developed a pattern that worked really hard on protecting itself from parents that also had egos. And its job is to control the circumstances and get it a certain way. And the more you start to connect to your heart and not cater to that pattern, you will feel inevitably that pattern fall apart. You will feel the ego go, no, but it's outside. And you keep sitting here and connecting to your heart and watch how that pattern's like, no, it's over here. It's when they see this, it's when they understand it's when I get the money this way. And you're just here connecting to this. I promise you in time, this practice will help you connect to the actual truth of what you are. And just because you're surrounded by a world that isn't doing that work overall, that doesn't mean it's not the truth. And when you finally connect to the truth of what you are, that your wholeness is within, and then watching as the circumstances will mirror that, you will be so much more complete. You will be able to move in a way that can create more abundance. You will create a much better space for a much better relationship from the idea that you're whole on your own. You will be surprised at how much the circumstances change, but if you're only working on the circumstances without working on this, you will still always have this lack. And even when you get the circumstances, how you want them, the lack will still act up and it will sabotage those circumstances because the true belief inside is that you're not enough. And we're here to heal that lie because that lie is not based on any truth. And when you finally decide to switch from, I got to get my circumstances perfect. And there will always be another circumstance to fix. There will always be another person that doesn't understand you. There will always be another bill. There will always be another problem. And you stop fixing the problems and creating an identity as a fixer of problems, which actually still has an addiction to problems because otherwise it would have nothing to fix and switch to I'm here now. My happiness is inside of me and really practice this. Go for a long time practicing that. Try not picking up an addiction. Try not needing someone else to understand you. Try not grabbing something outside of you and just sit here and go, my happiness will always inevitably only come from inside. There will be a collapse of the pattern that you created that needs to make it from outside. And you will feel a wholeness and a nowness that you've never felt before. And that nowness is the truth of what you are. You are much more all that is instead of an identity that you created in the past to save yourself from parents who also had egos. You're just now and you're enough now. 
And you have an opportunity always to just connect to here. And this really is something that you don't just need to hear enough to mentally be happy and go, yeah, I can always connect here and then still create this pattern. It's a choice. If you want to now go, I'm ready to actually access the truth of what I am through devotion, through discipline, through patience and watch as the false. You literally collapses based on the fact that you're no longer catering to it. You're no longer using it. Every time it panics, you connect here versus catering to what it's panicking about and fixing the external while ignoring here. There is so much power to you choosing here. And even if everything on the external is falling apart, our job is to connect to this. Instead of freeing yourself from an external circumstance, freeing yourself from an oppressive government, freeing yourself from a bad relationship, start by freeing yourself from yourself. Free yourself from an egoic construct that you needed to protect yourself in the past that you might not need now. And instead of fixing circumstances, connect to the truth of what you are. This is how you change yourself. And the byproduct very often is you will change the people around you, not by force, but by becoming the truth of what you are and creating a space that offers that to the world. So inevitably you change you, you will change the planet. If you want, take a deep breath in connect to here. And when this video is done, don't just grab your phone and start scrolling or tell everyone else about an idea you have and get them to like you. Instead, find this love in yourself and stay connected to it. You will be shocked at what happens on the outside when you do this inner work. I hope this helps because you don't have to feel like it's over. You don't have to feel like no one sees you. You don't have to feel like you're depressed. Instead, you can just let go of those concepts and that the idea of someone outside of me seeing me is when I'm seen. It's when you see you and everything you've ever wanted someone else to understand about you, it's up to you to find and hear and understand it until you don't need the outside to understand it. You're going to be shocked at how much magic is inside of you. Join me in connecting to this actual truth and let's see what happens to the world. Thank you.